Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Welcome to Planet Zoo. That I, I don't know, is that is that a thing? Is that even a thing? I don't know what I'm saying. Welcome to Planet Zoo. This is part two um, of a sort of series, but not necessarily part two. Um, it's whatever part you want it to be. Um, because we're basically doing sort of a how to get started in my zoo um, sort of Planet Zoo. In the first episode we covered sort of how to set up your sort of path initially, especially when you're limited with money, um, how to hide the staff rooms around the back. Um, I've got these default buildings here. Uh, this is one I made from a previous series and this here um, is uh, just a couple of defaults that come with the game um, just to get started. Um, because they're, you know, without doing a, I, I like sandbox mode, and we could do this all in sandbox mode. It takes so much time forever, but I like the challenge of managing the actual money, managing the actual conservation credits, managing how much we actually spend on these animals. So we have this habitat. It's quite bland at the minute, um, and you can see that the dogs are coming back out now. They want to come out and have a play, which is beautiful. They're more than welcome to come out and play around. That's absolutely fine. But what we want to do today um, is do some little sort of touch-ups. Um, and what this will do is this will sort of in make this into a, quite a beautiful little habitat for our animals. But also it makes it, oh, we're going to get some actual mating. There we go. Doggy mating. Live on the channel. How beautiful. It doesn't get any better than that. Same animation. We all saw it. Thank you very much. There we go. That's them mated. Offspring's due very soon. The point is, is um, what we want to do is just make this look beautiful because right now it does look pretty bland. There's no plants, there's no rocks, there's nothing there that really of interest for our beautiful painted dogs. Now, a couple of little things that you could definitely go around doing is um, just adding, he's taking a dump. <laughs> he took a poo. <laughs> oh, see, poo's still the height of entertainment. Um, oh, we've actually... Oh, we've got some vet research that's been completed. Oh, that's good news. Um, so that might actually... Let's have a look and see whether it did unlock any toys for these animals. And it did! We've now unlocked the sprinkler. That's right. Yes, we love a sprinkler. So do we little doggies. So we can add one here, I think. And and now, oh look, oh, they're going to be so super duper happy that we've added a sprinkler. I don't know whether adding a second one does anything. Maybe we can add a second one over here, perhaps. Oh, it does. They do quite like the sprinklers. They don't like the same toys normally. Um, but we've put a couple of sprinklers. We'll put one over here as well, I suppose. Um, just so they've got a couple of sprinklers dotted around. And there we go. Look how happy they are. Um, they are just about to be fed. This zookeeper is ballsy. I mean, I'm surprised because these things will rip your face off. And they, he is just hes just flippantly running in there. Let me just chuck some food down. Look at him. Absolutely madness. In fact, that, that dog there is poised to kill him. Absolutely. Look at him. He's poised to kill. That is absolutely terrifying. Isn't it just poised to kill? Wow. He was he's he's quite happy with that, isn't he? But look, I'm gonna pounce on you. I will kill you. Let me eat my food. So <laughs> uh, let's play. Um he's not, look, they're friendly dogs. Because he's Joe Exotic and he, he doesn't care. God I wish I could give him a mullet. He would look superb. Anyway. Uh, let's let the dogs eat. They're quite happy with the sprinklers. They quite like that system. Um, but yeah, oh, they're having a little play fight. How cute. Uh, they will play fight um, only because he's the alpha male and she's the alpha female. So um, only the alpha male and the alpha female breed is my understanding. The other um, the other ones will not are not breeding partners. So they won't breed. So only this one will. And she may breed with him again. Um... But that's just how it works, basically. But you can't have two males. Two males, I, I don't think you can anyway. They just won't, they won't get on. So, um, we're talking about beautifying this um, area. Now, you can go around checking all this, these bushes and stuff in. But the animals may not like that particular bush or branch, for instance. Go away. 
uh, may not like that bush or branch, um, if that makes sense. So what you have to do is you sort of have to just get a get a glimpse of what they like. So they're from Africa, and they like the grassland. So we go to filters, we go continent, it has to be Africa, and biome, it has to be grassland. And then these plants are the plants we can use in this habitat. Does that make sense? I think it does. So uh, we can use one of these trees, which is obviously very desirable. Um, I think this is just unnecessarily large. Um, but it's not the sort of area that we live in. So, you know, these trees are probably a wee bit more suited. Now, I quite like it over here, covering this sort of area around a little bit. Um, but trees like this sort of do quite well. These trees are quite nice as well, actually. Um, but yeah, no, I prefer these ones because they're a bit more samey as these, but a little bit smaller. Um, and then we have some beautiful, beautiful willow trees as well. And they're sort of, they're actually lovely, aren't they? But yes. So, ah, oh, they're about to have their offspring. So we're about to have our first babies in the park. Let's have a, let's have a view. It's quite impressive how it works. Um, so she'll stand there. She'll be like, oh, not quite sure what's going on here. Oh, 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 let's have a squeeze out. Oh, is it coming? Is it coming? Yeah, she's there. She's going. She'll sit down. And then this little fella will just appear. It could be a girl, actually. I've, I've, it is a girl um, called Falade. Falaid. We're going to actually rename you Falaid, because we're going to rename any new animal, um, although this could be quite taxing. Um, we're going to name you Lurpak. Um, absolutely a great name for you, um, and I think it, it suits you. So you're Lurpak. Congratulations for joining our zoo, Lurpak. Um, Lurpak is a fantastic spread, um, although in no way are sponsoring this video. Um, but there is Lurpak, walking around not a care in the world. Thank you very much, Lurpak, for joining. Uh, what that might inadvertently do is actually reduce the amount of space we need. And it does, actually, because we now have an extra animal in there. But what baby animals do is drive more people into our zoo. Um, we're actually re doing more research, which is good news. Um, um, so we might have unlocked more enrichments for this habitat. And we have. We've unlocked a dog ball. Uh, which is pretty cool. We're going to just dump it in the middle there. That'll do for now. Right, so uh, we've now got everything in place that we need to. They're quite happy. They're not the happiest they could be. And we'll do another episode about how to make them 100% happy. Um, but now I want to make their area slightly more beautiful. So let's do just that. We'll start off... Oh, what are these trees? These are going to be massive, aren't they? Yeah, they're very, very much sort of the lion... Thing. I don't know. So um, these trees are too big, I think. I quite like the smaller ones. These these tr these trees here. And um, we can we can do like sort of hide the buildings. Now a way of making trees look different. This is the same tree, but I've actually made it look different. And I've planted two of them, and now they look like different trees. It's quite a clever way of doing it. Um, and that's a good way of sort of beautifying it. Just rotating it slightly, and um, you get this sort of nice effect with the trees. Um, what we have to do, though, is make sure that we don't increase the coverage too high. So we're going to keep this on at the same time, but they don't mind this. If they didn't like the plants, you'd see this number going down, if they didn't like it. But they do. They quite like these plants. Um, they also like nettles, um, and nettles are a good way of, again, you can bury them under the ground, and nettles just give it a bit more character. And then again, just a quick rotate, give it a bit more character around the trees, because around the trees you would sort of see um, the odd sort of sort of weeds and stuff growing around the trees. And it just gives it a bit more personality. Um, it's not just like, oh, it's a tree plonked into the ground. You know, like here it still looks a bit bland. So what we could do, for instance, is we can get this little bit of whatever this is, and we can plonk it in the ground. And now a tree looks like it's got some genuine stuff growing around it, which looks quite nice. Um, another way of making habitats look good um, and making them look a little bit different is by just playing with the terrain a little bit. Now, I don't want to play around with it too much, but, but just by increasing it over here and increasing it over here, putting another hill in here, what you are actually doing here um, is just giving a bit more variance to, um, to view at. Now it looks like there's a bit more personality to the enclosure. 
look, like even at ground level, it's not just a boring flat enclosure anymore. It actually has a little bit more personality in it. Like, what am I not seeing in here that's very special? It's quite a clever way of, of opening up a little bit um, and, and just giving a bit more personality. The final thing, and the, the probably the best thing to do, is um, rocks. Now, rocks don't have these sort of thing, but we need to use grassland rocks, I think, because they like grassland. I think is where we're going here. I don't think there's African rocks, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Um, and what we can do with this, like these sort of savannah-like rocks, again, is just having them sort of sc scooching out the ground. We're going to do more with rocks in this, uh, in this enclosure anyway. Um, but again, just using the rotate tool, no rock is the same. They're all different. You, you know, you don't have the same rock there. You know, that's the, exactly the same rock, but it looks different there. And again, with rocks, what you want to do, sort of thing, is, is again, we can grab these nettles and we can duplicate them and we can put them down in here. So now the rocks, again, have also got the personality of having a bit of, you know, leaf like leaves around them because they're harder to sort of maintain than the rest of the when than the rest of it um so we can make it look sort of pretty we can grab some more nettles here and you know even if it's just for you just to just to sort of you know sort of you know be happy that you've placed something in and around rocks in the area um it just gives it a bit more personality all of a sudden other than that you know i saw of a building which will change anyway um all of a sudden it looks really personable it looks like the animals have a nice little habitat to play with um, and they're a big fan of these trees anyway so everything looks really really good and I'm really happy that we've managed to do that uh, I'm gonna turn the African continent back on because I think there's a few more um, things we can place for example we can place some of this stuff here and we can we can have that coming out just over the ground there um, and I will play with um, sort of you know these common reed strips as well are quite nice and we can have them um, again right up against this here and push that down there so it sort of covers up the building slightly um, and just gives again it's giving now the plants are giving the building a bit more um, well a bit more sort of nice sort of look now the real reason I use building parts here is again because what we can do is we can have things look quite nice in buildings. You can even use trees to look like bushes that are actually placed inside the building or around the building. Um, I'm going to put this one here for instance and it's going to give the back, back of that building a lot of personality but also a great big bush um, which is kind of great. Now yes of course it clips through there but I'm not too worried about that. It actually gives the other side of the building a little bit more personality. Um, now we're hitting our coverage slightly here and we are ruining our terraining slightly um, because we're reducing the amount of space these guys have got to run around in. Um, but I do want to be just a little bit more creative. So what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate that and move it across um, across here. I think maybe that looks nice. We can uh, move some more. Oh, wrong way. Move it across, have it overlap slightly there like that. So there we go. So now the what you want to do as well, if you are duplicating something like that, is you just want to move that down and you want to move this one across and maybe up a little bit um, and the height just adjusting the height gives it variation again they're the same three bushes but we've given it variation by adjusting the height and where it sits against the wall this side they've got a few of those leaves spoken in as well but that's fine and they'll still go and get that water which is over there which again is great one of the things I really wanted to do though is I did want to add some rockery here. So we're going to go back to our rocks. We know that they like the savannah rocks. And I'm going to build just a little bit um, of a rockery in the back here. Now again, like I said, with the rocks, the key with rocks is um, just rotate and changing, rotate and change. And that way then you have this personality um, to every single thing that you sort of lay. Um, so for example, just adding that rock there, you know, it looks different. I could use the same rock if I wanted to and bring it down here. I know I've used that bush, but that's fine. Again, we can utilize the bush. Again, bringing that there, having a little rockery inside here gives a bit more personal uh, personality to what we're actually using here. Um, and it means that I don't like it when it clips like that. 
Um, and what it inadvertently does is it means that we have a bit more personality so that when I'm looking into the exhibit, I can see, oh, look, there's a rockery in that building. And we can actually turn that into a full-on sort of rock cladding building. Um, and we can make it look sort of really sort of rustic for the for the animals, uh, which I quite like. I quite like the idea of doing something like that. I'm not going to do it now because it's quite a lot of work. We could do it again, beautify things like this in the live stream. But, um, yeah, it just looks quite nice. And I think, you know, it adds a bit of personality to what would be an otherwise boring sort of looking pen. Now, it is boring still, don't get me wrong. This could look a lot, lot better. I am actually going to call the mechanic because I have seen some holes in the fence. I think he's probably already catering to it. He is, but I'm going to call him again anyway. Um, if you see holes in the fence, that means that they're chewing it, which means the mechanic needs to come and have a quick repair. But um, the barrier status is pretty good at the minute, so no worries there. Um, but what you want to do is you do want to do these little touch-ups frequently because it just gives the impression that there's a bit more to it. So, for example, over here, everything over here is green. This is, this is not good because there's a lot of green going on. Um, you know, we probably need to put more of this in. And I think what we could do, hypothetically, I don't want everything to look the same here, but we could duplicate this, because it is because it is a part. Uh, we can rotate it slightly like this, and then we can put it in the ground like so. We could put it further in the ground than the other one, so it doesn't look exactly the same. It doesn't really. Um, so it, again, just gives it a bit more personality. What I could do then is grab this rock, and we can put that in here. Um, and this could be a bit more of a featurette rock here. Um, we can go back to nature and add a, uh, this rock as well. And it can be a bit more of a stand-up rock right at the front. I like this like nice little underside here. I've got a dog trapped. There he is. He's back on there. And he's walking on the rock, look. So all of a sudden now, we've got this really nice looking, looking rock thing, uh, which is great. It just got dark then, but it will go back to light. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Then what we can do is we can grab some of our nettles here. I'm hoping. And again, he's doing his little feed. And we can make them a bit more a bit more sort of prevalent under this rock bit here. Because that would be difficult to tidy up. And again, we could put another nettle here and another sort of seven nettles there. Looks quite nice. And now it's got a lot more personality when you sort of could begin to walk around it and begin to look at it. I probably want to do some more up here. In fact, what it might be worth doing is grabbing another one of these mar is it marula trees? Let's go with marula trees. I think it's these ones here. And we'll go for a different tr oh, actually that looks like the same tree. Um and again, we can we can put that near the rock. I quite like it that it's near the rock there. Um I think one is a slightly different tree and you sort of see these trees together. Um and there we go. Now it's got a lot more personality. It looks like it's lived in. I would like a little pool of water or something in there for them, because they do drink out of water, um, as opposed to them drinking over here. And I think the one tray is not necessarily large enough. Um, it's not necessarily large enough for them, because he's dropping food here. Uh, that might be from the ball, to be fair, as well. Um, so on the whole, I think they're quite happy. Um, you know, they seem to be happy with the temperature of it. Um, they only have the grade one food quality at the moment. I can upgrade them if I wanted to. But it looks like this actually has a lot of personality in there. You can see the animals, although they've all gone inside because it's raining. Um, and it just, yeah, I think on the whole has worked quite nicely indeed. Um, so that's how you sort of would beautify up an area slightly. Don't get me wrong, it's not the best job. Um, I haven't purposely gone all out to make it look stunning um, but all I've done is I've added a few bushes added a few rocks in the habitat they run over the rocks they interact with all that stuff this one's actually um, this adult's interacting with the ball and he's knocked some of the food out um, but just by adding little bits of scenery here and there um, just make it look a bit nicer um, if you wanted to do something with this building you absolutely could as well um, there's nothing stopping that um, corrugated sheets <laughs> But you could add things like these chain attachments to the building. Um, I'm not going to be doing that, I don't think. Um, I quite like the idea of adding... These switches are superb. How on earth did I not notice these switches? We do need to do something with that building. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Um, I'm going to put a switch there, just randomly. 
Why the hell not? Oh, I could. Oh, there we go. Now I have. Um, I don't know why. It'd just be quite funny, wouldn't it? Um, but you can add things to make things look just nicer um, all around, really. Um, you know, you can get sort of these awnings for the shops and stuff. You can get these windows and doors and stuff like that. Props are a good one to sort of put stuff on. And I do like these logs. These logs are really nice as well. So we could, uti again, utilise these logs, especially if it was a log cabin sort of look and feel. We could utilise these logs. Oh, there's an umbrella. I don't know why we'd want just a random umbrella. Um, but it looks quite nice, I suppose. Um, again, centrepieces. We don't really have any at the minute. What are these? Special effects. Snow falling. They don't need that. A large water jet. Look at that. We could build a fountain in their exhibit. They would love that. Genuine fact. Um, but we can put in some of these like sort of wall lights as well. And I don't know where that's gone. Oh, it's on the floor. Not quite sure why it's on the floor. Um, but you can add lights um, and all sorts in in the actual habitat itself, uh, which would look quite good, I suppose, as well. Um, but yeah, there's actually so much to play around with. We haven't unlocked half the things because you need researchers to start unlocking these things. Um, but yeah, we, we it, it can definitely turn into something quite wonderful here. And what we can do, we can be really tacky, I suppose. Um, I don't know whether there's a picture of an African painted dog here. There's a lion and a tiger and stuff. Um, no, there's just genuine zoo ones. There's a monkey one there and a leaf. That's a hyena. I don't think they do a painted dog one. No, they do a tree, an acacia tree. I don't know whether is that the is that the. This looks like a for some reason I just immediately thought cannabis leaf. It it isn't obviously a cannabis leaf, but it looked quite funny. Um, and again, you can add all the like all sorts of things like planks and stuff to the buildings. It's yeah, loads of stuff you can add, um, which is really really good um, in this game. It's something that you can really you can make each and every single part of your zoo. Um, you know, really stand out. Um, but this building, we would add stuff to it, but we haven't unlocked a lot, actually, so uh, we'll probably want to get our mechanic doing some research. The vet is absolutely flying. There we go, more about the African wild painted dog. Oh, one thing we haven't done, and um, which we will cover, just to finish off this episode um, uh, very, very quickly, is education. Um, very, very important to have education in the game. Um, education stands are really really important and uh, you know sort of vital to the game um, and what you need is you, you you know you sort of need to educate your guests if your guests aren't educated um, you don't get conservation credits which are really important so what you want are things like this you know sort of conservation board here um, and that will you, you can have anything on here so you know poaching there we go that, that seems quite relevant, doesn't it? Um, so we can have poaching there. Um, what we'll also want to do for facilities is we'll also want an educational speak, uh, speaker. Now, you can be, again, pretty clever of where you hide this, just as long as your guests can hear it. Um, I like putting mine in the money bins, because I think it makes a difference. You can attach it to the back of the TV unit. Um, you can really put it anywhere you want. Um, but I like putting mine here, and then what you can do is grab that and sort of move it inside the bin. Tick. Nice. There we go. It makes it difficult to select when you can't see them, but I know where they are normally. Uh, what we want to do then is choose the African Wild Painted Dog, and then basically anything within that speaker range, those people are being um, basically educated to. I don't want to stretch it over too much because you don't want them over overlapping. Um, and look at this. We've had an inspector uh, there we go. Education facilities are really low. He wasn't very happy with them at all. Um, but he was really happy with the cleanliness of the zoo. Um, and that's because we have got a janitor working this area. And we, we don't have any food or anything for our guests. Education would be better. And if he had come back ten minutes later, it would have been done. Um, and we've got some more vet research. Look at this. The more vet research you have as well, um, the more impact it has on your education screens. Um, so that's really, really good. Um... But yeah, everything seems to be working pretty well now. Um, 
but yeah i'm pretty happy with that if you're happy with it um please don't forget to like share and subscribe enjoy thank you very much for watching the content um i'm glad you're enjoying it now i will catch you guys um on the next episode of our planet zoo sort of getting started series um but yeah thank you very much indeed i will catch you all absolutely on the flippity flip thank you very much indeed bye bye